uh, those who back up into a woods, mm -hmm. they kind of sneak into the woods a little bit to get in at least a border of about five feet We or so. do. We want to do that not only for the mosquitoes, because they're going to like to live in that dark, damp area yeah. during the daytime, but we're also, it was interesting, we, we got turned on to tick control. We, we came in with a, just a focus to destroy mosquitoes because I hate mosquitoes. That was your first focus, yeah. And then we had a, con a call from um, one of our customers, Monty Skull. She's the head of National Capital Lyme Disease Association. Uh -huh. And she wanted mosquito control, but also wanted to look into the tick control. And we found, really, it was an eye-opening experience to the dangers of Lyme disease in our area and how prevalent it is because uh, Loudoun County just announced last year that one in four ticks on your property are infected with Lyme disease. Wow. Every year for the last two years, Lyme disease has gone up 10 times, um, 2006, 2007, 2007, 2008, and they're expecting that trend to continue. So a hundredfold increase in Lyme disease in the last two years. That seems even almost more important than the mosquitoes, and you picked up a good area there. We, we didn't look and search it out, but it's something that uh, we've had so many people contact us, and now we're really focused on Lyme disease awareness because mm -hmm. most people don't realize the dangers of Lyme disease until it's too late, uh, until they have it or contacted it. And I, I was just talking to customers uh, recently at McLean Days, and some people said, I don't think we have ticks on our property. But it really, the ticks, even the, the, the deer ticks can be as small as just, a, they look like a freckle on you. You wouldn't even mm -hmm. notice you have it on you. Mm -hmm. um, so we do a full treatment for the ticks as well. So. We want to rid your property of ticks and lime so you can enjoy your property safely. Well, many times the cats, particularly dogs, mm -hmm. they, the dogs will bring in ticks right into your living room. They will. And uh, we used to have a dog years ago, that old Henry, he used to bring in ticks all the time. But you don't know which tick is going to have the Lyme disease, so it's, what do you do it's, for that? Do you it's have most, suggestions for yeah, that? Yeah, it's for most that? common with, with deer tick, although they've, there's research showing that other ticks may be carrying Lyme disease as well. Um, but in this area, the deer tick is... Uh, basically taken over for the dog tick. The dog, uh, we see deer tick everywhere now. Uh -huh. So it's important to put the dog collars and everything on your dogs to prevent right. um, them from getting the ticks. But we do a full approach with the ticks as well. We put out um, what's called a tick tube. And it's an interesting a tick thing. tick tube? Yes. What, what it is, is that? it's very simple, but it's <clears throat> cotton in a tube. And we treat the cotton with a perethrin-based product. Uh -huh. And what it's really going after is the mice, because everyone thinks it's just the deer that are bringing the deer ticks in, but the mice also, mice, squirrels, everything like that get it. Mice is where most of the deer or most of the ticks are getting infected from. So what we do is we put the tick tubes out along the wood line, around the house. Uh -huh. um, even in some cases, we put it just right up, right by entranceways, things like that. So the idea is the mice will come and they take that cotton and they bring it into their nests. Oh, to make it, yeah. To make a nest uh -huh. out of it, and it kills the ticks on the mice. What we don't want to do is kill the the mouse in your house that's got ticks on it because then those ticks are going to fall off and look for a, their no. next feed. Even before they get there. And so we want to take care of the tick at the larva stage. We're also treating for the every 21 days, just like the mosquitoes, for the adult ticks. And we're looking to wipe out that population by doing that. So, wow. And you think about it, how easily a tick can travel. Well, if they're on mice, birds, squirrels, deer, anything that comes into your yard, if they drop a tick, we want to make sure that if it lands on the grass, tall grass, anywhere mm -hmm. like that, that that area is covered so the tick will not survive. You know, there's some, uh, uh, they use some of these smoke things. We used mm -hmm. to buy them at the five and dime, you know, you, mm -hmm. you light this little wick and burn. And man, I get sick of that smoke. That's, yeah. That's some of those pretty harsh chemicals that they're using. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think they're that very good. No, and they weren't really that effective compared to what we're using now. And mm -hmm. um, it, it's really, if people saw, there's a great video that just came out on Lyme disease, uh, Under Our Skin. You go to underourskin.com. My wife and I watched it, and she's scared to death <laughs> to go out in the woods. As If it's an untreated part of the woods, there should be a little fear in there because the ticks are mm -hmm. everywhere, and they're very dangerous. They're, it's a debilitating disease. Uh, and so that's one of our focuses. To, we're, we're looking to work with National Capital Lyme to raise awareness for Lyme disease so people know that it's important to treat their property, and as they treat their property, it'll reduce the population of deer ticks in the area and make it safer for all of us. Well, now, give our viewing audience the places that they should check for, for, the, for the, where the mosquito may. We, we already covered the gutters. That's mm -hmm. one. Uh, where else? Uh, really, the, any place where there's standing water at all. Anywhere. It doesn't take much. Um, so the gutters... Inside tree stumps, you'll find. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. So a lot of times there's just debris, like 
we've been in many woods and there's a can in there, a, you know, tire, the tarps that you spoke about. Um, so we want to look for anything like that. But where I have people all the time call and say, we have no standing water, we've treated everything, but we still have lots of mosquitoes. And they love ivy, bamboo, any uh -huh. dense woodsy area right. that's cool, dark. And with irrigation systems, there's water being put everywhere. Oh, nice. So yeah. um, we see the rise of mosquitoes all over the place. Bird baths are another thing that we should always treat a bird bath. Um, and you want to treat it with products that aren't dangerous to the mm -hmm. To the birds, or that's to what my question else. was going to be because the product that you're using uh, may be beneficial to uh, also killing other insects. Yeah, we got to be. We're very careful with that. Um, and, yeah, but but for example, if you're spraying the undersides of, of the leaves of some plants, azaleas or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, lace bugs and uh, aphids. It might get rid of some of them too. Yeah. If you use what, what, what is the product you're using? It, it's a perethrin based product. Oh well, that'll kill that'll kill lace bugs. That'll kill yep. aphids too. It will. So it's a twofold thing. But you're not promoting that. No, no. But you see what you're getting, folks. He's spraying your yard, and he's also getting rid of the lace bugs and the aphids and and the white flies. Exactly. And we're careful. A lot of questions came up in the last couple of years about bees. And so we don't mm -hmm. spray flowers when when plants are flowering. That's what bees are uh -huh. attracted to. So we're not spraying uh -huh. the flower the flowers down. Um, instead, we spray around that. And so uh -huh. we're trying to protect the environment as much as possible because it's a concern. We don't want right. to be damaging yeah. to our environment. We, Myself, my business partners, we love working outside. That's why we got into this industry. And, um, and so we want to protect it. But we do want to eliminate mosquitoes, ticks, things that could really make someone very sick. Now, is there, a, uh, is there a time limit where the children can go outside? And let, let's say you were there on Thursday. Can they still go out and play that day, or they got to wait? For, no, usually it's, we, we tell them wait till the product is dry, completely when it's dry. dry they're safe on a hot day, it's going to be, it's, it starts drying on contact because we're putting a very light mist on it. Mm -hmm. So you think when it's 100 degrees out and you put a light mist on anything, it's dry very quickly. And so usually I'm, we'll tell people, keep, keep the kids and dogs and everything off it for a half hour. Um, just for safety, but uh, usually within by the time we're getting back in the truck and leaving, it's you know mm -hmm. typically dry by that point, and they don't have to worry. The product is encapsulated. Um, that's what gives it that 21-day period, um, similar to what you think of like Dristan or something that mm -hmm. lasts rather than four hours, lasts 12 hours because it's a slow release. Um, and so the, our product is the same way. It doesn't wa like wipe off the plant. So if you're going to walk by, you're not going to get the product on mm -hmm. you. It actually be bonds to the plant material. Um, and so that's well. Now important. I have a question. Now, suppose mm -hmm. somebody's watching the show and they and they're thinking, well, do I have to sign a contract to get it done all summer, or I was just going to have a wedding on, on June mm -hmm. last week of June, and I need just somebody to come out and take? Would you do any individual parties? We do. We do event sprays. That's um, what you call yeah. them, event sprays. Okay. And that's a lot of times for weddings and things like that because if you think of all the planning and everything that goes into that perfect day for the wedding and then right. we were at a wedding two years ago and just got chewed alive and nobody thought about the mosquitoes until after uh -huh. the party people everyone came up to me and they invited the mosquito it. squad man there and they didn't take <laughs> advantage of them <laughs> uh, but that's what we'll do event sprays and mm -hmm. so that way we're also looking for a knockdown to knock down the gnats and everything um, oh does this take care of gnats too well oh, our, we, it'll knock them down gnats are a little t tougher yeah. bug because they breed very quickly um, so we're not, and we're not as concerned about the gnats because they're not, they're not dangerous. Dangerous. They're just a f annoying thing. They get in your drink when you're yeah. sitting on a patio. Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> but they're not. You're not going to get Lyme disease from a gnat. So we're not as worried. But uh, we do the event sprays. But most people were looking to do a full season of sprays. And a lot of a lot of our customers call and say, "Can I just wait till August? The peak period is going to be July through September, where the mosquitoes are all uh -huh. in full force." But it took time for that peak period to happen. And what happens is, is one mosquito breeds. 300 mosquitoes, then those 300 go out and they continue to breed. So we want to knock that population down early. Mm -hmm. And if we could do it from the beginning of the year, say now until October, we're going to affect the population now. We're also going to affect the ability for mosquitoes to lay eggs for next year. Um, so we're really going after a full approach by attacking them early, often, being consistent with it. And that's how it allows our customers to enjoy their swimming pools, their backyards, their decks, and uh, not have to coat themselves in DEET. 